I've been on YouTube for half my life. Like, I'm 24. I think I started when I was 12 or 13. And I've never once done Vlogmas. That's crazy. Except this year. I'm doing it. I'm officially doing it. Last year I was like, should I do it? And I put out like three videos and I was like, I don't want to do it. But this year I'm doing it. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to vlog later in the day though because my voice, it does not work in the morning. Like early morning, I don't have a voice. Today's technically November 30th, but it makes the most sense to me to do like the first upload of Vlogmas on December 1st. So you record the day before and then you put it up. So it's like Vlogmas day one is on December 1st. I like it when the numbers line up. It just makes sense in my brain. So that's how I'm going to do it. But I'm like full on Christmas spirit. This is actually the first year that I am reading Christmas books. I've never read Christmas books. But I just started in a holidays and I can already tell it's gonna be like such a cheesy book. But it's so cutesy. Here's the deal for Vlogmas. There's a couple of things that since I was last putting up a YouTube video, I have not addressed. Number one, I moved. You'll see it in this vlog. Um, I don't wanna do like a house tour yet, but you will see the house in the vlogs but I did move number two I cut my hair I cut it very much so on a whim and I'm loving it I think that's all the bases that I needed to cover okay back to vlogmas so this is the first time that I'm ever committing to vlogmas and doing it and I'm gonna do it up till Christmas and I'm so excited but I also wanted to incorporate wellness into this vlogmas because it's gonna be a good challenge for me to have wellness incorporated into it. And there's something about wellness in the holiday season that really sticks with me. And it's like the most doable for me in the holiday time, which is wild to say. I don't know, like I'm really good at routines from Thanksgiving to Christmas and I've been like that every year. So I'm just gonna give myself a new routine. So my goals for wellness, and if you guys wanna do this with me, I would love it. We could like do it together for Vlogmas is to do 12 3 30 every day i say 12 3 30 but lately i've been doing 7 3 30 because 12 is just really inclined some days strength train two times a week yoga two times a week journal every day and two stanley cups a day i think you guys want to know what stanley cups are but these are them i'll link um i'll link this below if you guys want that um, the journaling can be in the manifest planner because the manifest planner really does like double as a journal or it could be um, like a daily like if I want to like write out like pages for the day but I just want to journal and reflect and set intentions every day during vlogmas so that's my wellness plans for vlogmas the 12 3 30 is honestly a way for me to get out of the house because I can't like walk on an incline in my house. I don't have a treadmill here. And if I did not set a goal for me to get out of the house once a day, I would not leave my house. Like I really hibernate in the winter time. So more than anything, it's for me to get out of the house. Today's gonna be a great day because I have so many errands to run today. It's a perfect day for Vlogmas day one. I think it's like 8 a.m. Yeah, it's 8.13 now. I woke up about an hour ago and I read In a Holidays. For some reason, I downloaded the sample and the book is like having a hard time downloading on my Kindle. So I'm gonna give it a minute and check back in later. And if it's not there, I'll just pick a new book, but I hope it is because I like it and I bought it twice. I'm gonna change, go to the gym. I have to fold and put away my laundry. I hate doing that, but I should just do that really quickly. What with like the toast from yesterday playing I should just do that then I'm gonna go to the gym do 12 through 30 do my little hot girl lift come home have breakfast shower get ready for the day and then we are gonna run errands I think in honor of vlogmas we'll go to Starbucks get a chestnut excuse me in honor of vlogmas go to Starbucks get a chestnut praline latte I've never had one 
So I'm excited. We'll go do that and then we will run errands. We have to do some business boring errands. Like I have to go to the UPS store and then the bank. I have to go to the post office. But then I also need to go to Target. And oh, I kind of need to drive kind of far to go pick up a gift for my mom too. So we'll probably do that first. But guys, it's gonna be such a great day today. And then I have no plans tonight. I wanted to make like this um, prime rib over mashed potatoes with green beans tonight, which reminds me I have to buy green beans because I live with my boyfriend and you guys will be seeing him. But we live together, we've lived together for the last two years. I'm huge in cooking right now. So I wanted to make a prime rib with like mashed potatoes and green beans, but I made a ton of green beans last night and he was in charge of cleaning up the kitchen and he threw away all the excess green beans. So I have to go buy more green beans today, but I don't know if I feel like making prime rib because I have to put it in the crock pot, which means, well, it's so easy, I should just do it. And that means I need to take it out of the freezer. I freaking got the way that just took me forever to put away my laundry. Forever, literally forever. I woke up starving. I really think it's my hormones from birth control because I just started it again and I'm really not happy being on it but I felt like I had to go back on it because I was getting really nasty periods like I was throwing up I was getting really bad cramps like, and my cycles were 40 days apart like I don't know I had really bad periods so I went back on the pill and it's a pill that I really have loved and I've used for years so I went back on it and my body is just not reacting like how it did almost a year ago. So that's very disconcerting. It's already almost nine. Like that's how long it took me to put away my freaking laundry. Dude, and like it was the last thing that I wanted to do. Like me putting away my laundry, I was literally thinking of every single out that I could. I was like, okay, if I just fold it and then I just won't put it away right now. But I was like, no, just like put it away. I normally never eat before I work out in the morning and I also normally don't eat like this early in the morning, it's 9 a.m. But I am so freaking hungry today. Oh my God, that is really good. I wanted coffee, but I also wanted food. So I did both. <laughs> I haven't made a smoothie in so long. Thank God it's not very cold today. And that's gonna hold me over until breakfast. Lately I've been having cheesy eggs with a bagel and like oh my god it's so freaking good i'm ready to go the way i just did not want to be working Literally the whole time this is my face. The whole time. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Um, but it was a good walk nonetheless. The walking always feels good. The strength training I really don't love, but I really want to do it because it's just, it's very good for you. So I really want to do it more. Um, but I was talking to my mom on the way here and she was like, oh, I was gonna run errands today, but it's raining. And literally me, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so your daughter because it's raining. And I'm like, I don't wanna run errands, but I need to today because I won't have time tomorrow. And I have like nothing pressing work-wise to do today. So today really is a great day for me to run errands. So I'm gonna do it today and I'm gonna wear sweatpants. I decided to make running errands better. Um, <sighs> that smoothie that I made had me so, like I'm stuffed right now. Like I was gonna have like a bagel and eggs when I got home, but I am so freaking stuffed. I don't need it. Also last night I um, blew dry my hair after I took a shower and I never blow dry my hair because it just, in my mind I'm like, oh my God. In 
my mind I'm like, oh my god, it takes forever, but it literally it took me seven minutes. Like I need to blow dry my hair more because now my hair is like great today. Like I barely had to do anything. I'm so freaking hot in my car. Barely had to do anything last night. Like I just blew dry it, went to bed. And now, like, as soon as I got out of the gym, I let my hair out of my ponytail and it was perfection. Oh, it's like fun. It's like bonding. Like I love you. Oh, I don't even know why I'm this tired. I slept pretty good. Actually, I didn't. I kept waking up. You know why? I kept waking up because everyone I know is sick right now and I am really afraid of getting sick. So I went to bed last night. I had like so much dairy for dinner last night. I made this like creamy pesto. No, this creamy like pasta that's so good. I just remembered it's in the fridge. I'm gonna totally have that later. Um, with like marry me chicken and it was just a lot of dairy. So my stomach was like hard as a rock, bloated. So I was just worried that like I was gonna feel sick from that. So anyway, I was like up all night worried that I was gonna have the flu and I didn't. The Santa behind me constantly freaks me out. Okay, I did all the little things that I had to do. Actually, I have to go upstairs and answer a couple emails before I go. But I think I'm gonna make eggs and half of a bagel and watch Housewives while I eat that. And then I'm gonna change and start running some errands. This vibe right now, like it is so gloomy outside. All I wanna do is lay on this couch and read my book. I wanna take the next step in my career, yes. When I do these two to three hour speaking engagements, everybody's saying the same thing. We want more. You know what I thought of? Overnight retreats. Me, inspiring people, all day seminar. Okay. This always happens on days that I run errands because I'm like, oh, I have all day to run errands. And then I procrastinate, I do other things, I watch one too many episodes of Housewives, and then suddenly it's 2.30. Hello? I just need to like get out of the house. I just have two quick emails to answer and then I'm just gonna change and then I'm gonna go. I've been so bloated lately, like beyond normal. I think it's because of my birth control and I'm supposed to have, whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna keep taking it because I just, kind of feel not really like myself but I don't know because I'm just having a hard time with bad periods long periods or hormones and I don't know I'm just I don't really know what the solution is I hope to god my book downloaded on my kindle why didn't it download Maybe it needs to change locations in the house. I'm gonna bring my Kindle downstairs. I restarted my Kindle too. I can't like go out of the house like this. Like I look atrocious. I was gonna wear this cropped white sweatshirt that looked a little bit better, but for some reason, Everything was just looking a little weird, so. Okay, I feel bad that I'm saying this because it's the first day of Vlogmas and this is not really going as I was hoping it would, but I'm kind of just having a day. And I just think it's also my PMS. Like I'm supposed to get my period next week, like this a week from today. But now I'm kind of just in a mood where I'm like, I don't want to leave my house. Like it's raining. I feel so bloated and normally I don't care. Like I have not let any sort of body image really affect me in the last couple of years i'd say like two years it's been really nice but i don't know like lately i just feel like every single time i eat my stomach just blows up like a balloon and it's so uncomfortable i know what some components are like stress is a really big component and i really think it's the birth control but that's just where i'm like messed up because i don't know what to do like do i stay on birth control and have and it's a hormonal one and i don't want to switch to an iud for my reasons so i just don't know what to do but here's what i will say i have not felt like myself since i started my birth control two months ago 
like in the mornings I wake up nauseous I used to never wake up nauseous and that really affects me waking up feeling sick every morning but when I wasn't on birth control I had really painful periods I was like throwing up from and I had really bad cramps one time that just like really freaked me out so I don't really know what the solution here is and like I don't want to leave my house but like I know I kind of need to go to the post office I should go pick up a couple of things I look up why isn't my kindle book downloading so I got a free book on kindle to see if it was like the kindle store and that booked worked so i'm gonna try one more time in a holidays <gasps> yay it worked yay all right that was weird but that also just confirmed that i'm staying home i will try again another day today is just not my day to go out of the house and that's okay see and this already begins the guilt that i feel with vlogmas is like i feel like i'm supposed to be doing stuff like all day every day like and i also know people will watch moments of this and then like judge me based off it and be like oh like i don't know just people hate watch is what i'm getting at and i always kind of want to give people that hate watch nothing to say which is why i always want my videos to be a certain way but this comes with the territory with vlogging every single day that there are just some days it sucks that it happens to be on vlogmas day uno but i just don't want to like leave my house today i want to stay in and like read my book and i want to like make cookies and have chocolate oh my god i'm totally about to get my period in a week Okay, this is me cultivating a vibe. This is what Vlogmas is about. I am someone that's deeply affected by the weather and maybe I should put on some lights. Maybe that would also help me out here a little bit. Pumpkin spice with Earl Grey tea. And I'm gonna read my book. I'm back, I'm here to apologize. I clearly am just PMSing today and just going through all the phases of it. But I feel so much better. I just made myself a cup of tea. Mm. Earl Grey pumpkin spice syrup and a little bit of milk. I just did the dishes. I put everything away. I have my vibe cultivating. I feel much better already. And I just want to say that I'm sorry if you came for a happy vlog. And I've just been a complaining wench, for lack of a better term, this whole time. So I'm gonna turn that around right now because I don't want people to come here and feel like you're just watching someone complain because I really don't mean to. But in all honesty, it is PMS and I know you girls can relate. Like it just happens and you don't want it to happen, but it does. But you know what? If it's gonna happen, I'm glad it's today. And I also need to like, keep reminding myself that just because the sun goes down at five let's be real four doesn't mean that i have to be done the day at four like i'm allowed to go outside after four o'clock we use your app yes. yeah i get pretty much the same thing but the other one i got sweet italian sausage roasted shrimp and chicken and broccoli oh my god that's expensive yeah Placing your order, hang tight while we shoot it through the galaxy. That's what it said. Yay! Going to get honey crow. That's what we got for dinner tonight. I was not in the mood to cook. I was gonna make like a prime rib. <laughs> I was gonna make like a prime rib thing, but I didn't. So now we're just getting honey crow. And then do you wanna watch a Christmas movie? Fuck yeah, Which watch a Christmas movie. Which one? I'm a good one, hopefully. Which one? Oh, let's watch the one with um, Michael B. Jordan, Seth Rogen, and Michael <gasps> Gordon. Or, yeah, I love The Night Before. The Night Before, yeah. Yeah, I love Joseph that Gordon Levitt, that's Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, yeah. So we got Honey Crow. Oh, uh, what are these little holiday things? Okay, this is what I always get. Oh my god, my kale is $1.25 extra. Oh, look, it's holiday though. Holiday cups. So in mine, I always get whole wheat noodles, pineapple, kale, just like a bunch of veggies. I knew that it was gonna be good because it's a new location, so they want like good food. They always give us three forks. Good soup. 
Yeah, because they think that we're not going to be like gorging ourselves, but I'm over here gorging myself. You guys, I am beyond obsessed with putting lime in my water. I can't really explain it, but it's just like the best thing ever. And this lime is by far the best. The Santa Cruz Pure Lime Juice is so good. I could like, I could just drink it. <laughs> I could really just like honestly put a straw in this thing and just drink the lime just juice. Drink it. Mm, it's so good. We get our gas bill tomorrow. I'm like so anxious to see how much the fire Here's cost. a little story yeah. I like to tell. Okay. That's not Michael B. Jordan. Friends hung on Christmas and fun was their mission. Oh no. What is his name? Sam? Sam's his name in fucking Marvel. The Marvel movies. He's the Falcon. Children with each other did all sorts of stuff. They drink many drinks.